I'm gonna try it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try it. One Japanese girl doesn't like fish. <laughs> That's the best fish I've had. You actually like it? Yeah, I do. Really? tasting day. I am not only starving, but so excited. Um, I'm in my bride-to-be era, and I'm wearing a pretty, pretty little white dress, and I am living my best fiancé life. Why the fuck did you let me eat lunch? I was, honestly, Jeremy was like heating up pizza, and I was like, oh, I, was like, I guess you must be really hungry since we're about to go eat a shit ton of food. What? Why did you allow me to do that? <laughs> I thought you I thought you knew. We've been talking about this day for so long. I figured that you knew that we were about to eat. Don't apply practical logic to this scenario. Uh, I'm this should have been this this is your fault. This is oh this is my fault. Yes, of course. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> I know I was like, well, you know fault. what though? It was it was are you, why are you full? I'm not not full. I also don't think that the portions are crazy though. You know what I mean? Like since you're eating so much random stuff, I don't it's think you're like getting. It's more like a little, little smorgasbord. It's like a, it's a little, yeah, like a shark. Taste and base. Or a little car, shark, car, 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 keys. Yeah, carcuterie. Or carcuterie. Um, so today's the day. I'm so excited. I have already submitted the full menu for what the plan is that we want to order for appetizers, mains, the salad, uh, the sides, the dessert, and the late night snack. And so pending that today goes well. Why are you going to email some Target? We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Caught. Caught in real time. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you texting? Uh, Target. <laughs> Um, so pending that this tasting goes well, we will have solidified all, all of our menu options. So today, here's what's on the menu. Oh, can I see um, this time? We are, there is, I mentioned this in the last episode, but we did a whole podcast where I sat Jeremy down and basically trapped him on the podcast couch and he, Couchitos. what? The couch eater. A couchita. It is kind of a couchita. It's like a one and a half person couch. Anyways, we did a whole podcast episode. If you want to hear all of the options that we sifted through to put together this menu, um, and I just want to reiterate, one of the biggest pieces of advice that I feel like people gave us is that this is your day. So if you want to eat truffle mac and cheese, you should eat truffle mac and cheese because it is your wedding. And that is exactly what we are going to do today is eat truffle mac and cheese. And I'm so excited. So yes, our menu does resemble somewhat of what an eight-year-old might put together as their ideal menu, and I feel really good about it. So here's what we are eating today. Okay, so for appetizers, we are, so we, I had to pick four that we would order, but only two that we're trying because we are trying 10 things, and so it's a few things from each category. So we are trying the bacon wrap scallop bite, and the pepperoni flatbread with honey drizzle, which is exactly what Jeremy just had for lunch. And so, you know what, maybe they'll be, you'll, you'll be an asset in comparison. Yeah. Look at me, adding value. You. That was planned, you did that on purpose. It's gonna be uh, an informed I opinion. won't be hungry on the way there, and that is important. Yeah, okay, and so then we've also got the Serrano ham and Manchego cheese croquettes, and the mini ahi poke bowl. So that's what gets passed around on little appy trays during cocktail hour, after the ceremony, before the reception. For salad, I'm not trying the salad because I felt like that was like a wasted thing to try because Same. like, it's a salad. Yeah, it's a salad. Same, yeah. So we chose the avocado citrus salad, which sounds delicious. Um, we're trying to... <laughs> I will be eating it regardless. Yeah, Jeremy, you know what? Th that's one of those things, though. Again, like, you're an adult, and if you don't want to eat salad, you don't got to eat salad. That's right. And if you want to judge me for it, Gail. Um... Yeah, Gail. Gail, I think that we will be together for 25 years, and my mom will still be asking if you want salad for dinner. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> um, arm is dying. Arm is dying. Uh, we're trying two different steak options, so we're trying the garlic and thyme rubbed New York steak and also a filet medallion, which I'm very excited for. Personally, I prefer a filet. I already feel like I'm not going to like the garlic, but the thyme, or the rub, or all of them. Oh god, see this is why our menu is that of an eight-year-old. Um, we're trying the butternut squash ravioli, the black garlic and miso glazed sea bass, charred Brussels sprouts with maple syrup and brown sugar, mac and cheese with black truffle. Trying a liquid cheesecake icebox shot with strawberries and graham cracker crumble. Uh, and then for two other desserts, we're also not trying these today, but also putting in the order churro bites of sweet cream and macarons. Hard to fuck those up. Ma no, macarons literally are very easy to fuck up. Okay, so why aren't... Okay, well, 
But I just feel like macarons are always good no matter what. Uh, and then for the late night snack, we are trying the Wagyu beef slider, um, but also ordering the salted Bavarian pretzel bite. Bavarian pretzel bite. Bavarian pretzel bite. I don't know, a Bavar yeah. Bavarian? <laughs> Bavarian? Bavarian? Bavarian bites. Bavarian bites. You uncultured swine. Anyways, I'm so excited. And I'm so excited. I'm so glad you ate a pre-menu tasting appetizer. Yep. Now, if it's really good, I'll know. You'll know. Exactly. An informed opinion. Uh, so we're on the way to go pick up Mia and Remy, who will also be uh, in the tasting with us alongside our wedding planner. In the back, kids. And uh, yeah, we're just bringing the kids along today for the journey. And I'm so excited. I forgot lactate. I literally, we just we just talked about how I always come strapped with lactate. But I don't think there's anything that's too dairy heavy. Maybe just the mac and cheese. Well, I think it'll out. be fine. It'll be fine. We're here. Oh my God. It is st <laughs> It is stunning. Oh my God. I'm so glad that we didn't tour this venue because it is stunning because I can't afford it. And it is absolutely beautiful. Okay, so the, the one thing though that I learned about this venue is that because you're like on top of a mountain just surrounded by vineyards, you have to have like trailer bathrooms. On Honestly, those are probably the nicest trailer bathrooms I've seen. <gasps> this is so cute. What the fuck? Thank God I did not do this. Oh my God, the wood fire pizza grill. Oh my God. <gasps> Oh my god. Oh my god. This is where Michelle Carr I got married. So if you want to go see a beautiful wedding at Cielo Farms, you can go watch her wedding video. Because wow, this is truly stunning. Oh, I'm so excited. I think we're sitting in AC though, which is great. I like the way they wrapped it. I know, we're starting. The flowers are so they look cute. Like and everything's edible on the plate. You guys obviously accept the plate. Don't twenty. Oh my god. So Thank you for <laughs> Okay, here we go. Cooking with Remy. Please be my guest. Just try it on camera. I'm nervous. <laughs> oh. Mmm. It's fresh. Fucks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh god, oh no. My swag has, has Hasn't been one bite? <laughs> that was delicious. No, 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 we're good, we're good. <laughs> using, using the dress, white dress. dress. That was delicious. Fuck. 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 Being on fatty bacon. It's like the perfect size bite. That's like the perfect size bite. I'll have to get those. Yeah. You would your pig out of the Because sometimes appetizers are too big. And you're like, it's awkward. Yeah, you've got one. Yeah, and I like a stick. Easy, and then you throw it away. And there you go. Yeah. And then what we do is we'll have to make a whole round. Yummy. Mini slider. Oh, the flavor? Oh, flour. Oh, it's such a cute bird. Me being a beauty guru right now. I know. Look at Cabby Patty. Cabby Patty. So cute. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. It's not as exciting as the last one. It's really good though. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Uh, you can't compare meat with skin with the scallop. It's the dill for me, but that's a meat thing. Mm -hmm. And the rosemary? I can taste that rosemary, yeah. That's what I meant, but not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's in the butt. We can always, we can always take that out. No. I'm good to pick one. Can I take it more to say? Oh, thank you so much. And sliders like that are always a great late night snack when you're a little bit, mm -hmm. you know. Do you like it? That was good. Okay. Jeremy, I think that if you were tipsy, you wouldn't even taste the rosemary. Not at all. Jeremy, give them with some. No, no, no. Jeremy, give them for the back. Give them with some. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, get the meat in there. You're right. You know me. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna salad. Yeah. Flatbread. Yeah. 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 Y
you want to get a little crazy with it? A little hot honey on top. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hot honey. <laughs> we love hot honey. Okay. How good would that be with this? How many yeah. bathrooms do we have? Five. Okay. We're good. We're good. That'll be a next day problem. Right? Next day problem. Great. Do you want me to get another piece that's actually toasted? Not toasted? It should be. The butter is everything. These ones look good. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Oh, oh, yeah, I see it. Look, crust on this one. Mm. I like that. Oh my god. What's the other bread? Yeah, what is that other one? This olive? One? Yeah, olive. Ooh. Yeah. Tastes adulty in a good way. <laughs> adulty in a good way. Adulty. Adulty. Like what the way? <laughs> but in a good way. It's like when any kind of spice is added, it's adulty. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want some better? Mm. Mm. Good crust. Oh, wow. Some flour. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I'm back on. And the I know, I feel like the butter, butter bread could be its own uh, like it's entree. Like seven different herbs and garlic and, mm. and, uh, and Himalayan salt. Wow. The butter is so good. Mm -hmm. The bread is fantastic. Or we don't listen. Wagyu? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, no, wait. Yeah. Yes. Uh, no. No. Okay. We're talking about the sliders. This is the uh, filet. 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 Here's, here's all the accoutrements right there. Mm -hmm. well. And what's so fun too about Honey Birds, we get to design our play settings. Mm -hmm. So like whatever flatware we want, plain, mm -hmm. glassware, we have a lot of them to design. Wow. Box. Again. Box? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We're back to fucking. We're back to fucking. Yeah. All right. Oh my god. Yeah. Cooking with Remy approved. It's so good. It's cooked perfectly. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, yeah. Remy approves. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. approved. It's amazing. This is amazing. Sprouts. Mmm. Oh, sprout! Yep. Sprout. Yeah. And you're cutting them with butter that like that. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. Wow. I've got that to put a steak in. Mm. I love a sweet Brussels sprout. Mm. Mm. Really good. Mm. Oh, it's really Do you like my It's not Shrek. What? Do you like my food? Yeah. It's not Shrek. It's what Shrek was. Shrek 1 or 2. Shrek 1. Yeah, Brussels sprout is so good. Yeah. I'm go. literally cutting my steak with a butter knife. That's how tender it is. Steak option number 2. Get in the end. Oh, you want some? That becomes a joke. Okay. Cool. Um, Coming back to the Costco after church. Uh oh. Can we do a duet of beefs? No. <laughs> oh. I like that idea. Not even close. What? Not even close. Not even close. Not even close. Other one is better. Yeah. Not even. It's not even. Yeah. Oh, the mac and cheese is here. The mac and cheese is here. <laughs> the mac and cheese is here. The flavors in this one are so good, though. But you're right. The cut is better in the filet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But. You can't, you can't go wrong with this. Mm. You could if the other one's an option. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Yeah. Just Mac and cheese side. I'm gonna leave this last piece here. Look at us. Look, Look at us. Oh my god, these are so good. The whole process. Makes no sense. I do like the chocolate. Another It's a you shell. I love a shell. If, if I don't know that they're there. That's a good shape. Uh -huh. Now, if I were you guys, would for like I would not serve mac and cheese. <laughs> I would do some. I would do something else. I would do mac and cheese. Maybe like a little, truffle mac and cheese in a little. In a little cup. In a little cup for cocktail hour. Or late night snack. Yeah. Uh, what would you suggest as a side that would be complimentary? Oh my uh, garlic mashed potatoes. Oh. Creamy garlic mash. Yeah. They have all sorts of potatoes, rice, garlic mash. Because when you do the duet, it's going to be the two proteins, one veggie, one starch. Oh, yeah. So starch would be potatoes, rice, or pasta. Buttered noodles, perhaps? His eye twitch while eating this is. It's adulting. OnlyFans content? A cup of mac and cheese. Oh, a whole extra second bowl for me. We'll stand next to the guy with the tray. Mm. All right. Are you, I like how you're like passing your legs. Just take it away. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Fish eaters. Fish eaters, this is you. Do you know how many fish 
I don't eat fish at all. I eat shellfish. I eat shellfish. Oh, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. You're gonna try it. You're gonna try it. You're gonna try it. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try it. One Japanese girl doesn't like fish. You <laughs> know, if you're gonna try it. This is probably, I know. Yummy? Delicious. Delicious. Texture's good too. Fucks? Yeah. What I like about it, it, it the stuff, like the, the texture, mm -hmm. is um, there's some real oh. there there. Is it it's good? Not like, it's no, not like a fishy never. texture. It's more like a meaty texture. And really? A good way. You do the same thing as me, as so where your eyeballs no, roll into yeah. the back of your head when you let. Yeah, yeah, I do that too. How do you describe that? It's just like a more dense. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Like a, a fish that, that feels like a meat. Is a fish that feels like too flaky. A yeah. fish that fucks. It's, a, it's, not, it's like flaky, but. I mean, no, it's, if it's fried, it'll yeah. flake away, baby, but it's not fried. It's, That's your beef. Like, Here I go. I like that. It is a meaty fish. Hey, Lauren, 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 grab the top of that one. You're going to like that better. Don't take don't, that. Don't take this one. Top of yeah. this one? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, this is more flavor. fish than I've ever seen. Just the second one. I'm not kidding. I'm telling you, you're going to eat the whole flavor. Get that top part. Five years? I know, get the top part. I don't know. Okay, great. She ate it. Her voice is gonna be super high, ready? <laughs> That's the best fish I've had. Yes! It really is. Which is <gasps> as much of an insult as it's a compliment, so but I, that is good. That's a good place to start. Mmm. As I'm saying, if you're ever gonna try it, just Where's try it in these years. Yeah. You know. Do you actually like it? Yeah, I do. Really? Mm. You don't have to order. See, the problem is, like, like commit gives, to it. But now it gives me like a false hope mm. that we're gonna like like fish, and I know that's, that's not the case. <laughs> Oh, so they're biting. <laughs> mm. Brown sugar? Miso glaze. Miso glaze. Mm. But yes, there is some brown sugar on there. Did you just... See, I am an Asian! <laughs> I am an Asian! This is the butternut squash ravioli. Oops! Oh, that's dripping. Dripping. It's a little oh, mini pancake. Butter, yeah, I love the brown butter. You can... What's a... You guys get that crispy sage, though, too. A triette. What's a, what's a duet? But what's a triette. One? Triette. Yeah, a triette. A triette. <laughs> Everyone gets the pasta too. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, that smells amazing. Oh, I love a ravioli. Me too. This is, I'll show you guys a picture of Chef making that. This is all handmade in the back here. Wow. Oh, that's so impressive. Mm. Thank you. Do you like it? Do you like it? For a non meat filled ravioli, it's good. Okay. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. What the I think my opinion stands second to be <laughs> the audible affirmations that we all just heard. So okay, cute. so cute. So well, how how you guys do this is how I like to eat this. No, I wanna get the fuck out of this, so you eat it your way. Okay? Mm -hmm. And fuck with you. No 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 I'm gonna <laughs> You eat it your way. Right. There's enough here for me to fuck it up once. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're absolutely right. You yeah, fuck it up once. I can fuck it up once. So I'm gonna do it your way first. Okay, mix it all together. Ooh. So you get the graham cracker, the balsamic strawberries, and the liquid cheesecake in one bite. <gasps> okay. Can I tell you why I'm nervous? Right, now you're making me nervous. My heart's pounding. Why? He's scared of balsamic vinegar. I'm scared of balsamic vinegar. Okay. Let, 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 I'm scared. <laughs> take, take my lead. It's not balsamic like you put on the salad. Yeah, my mother would ask me, and I'm gonna jump out the cliff. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would. So, me too. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it. Okay. In full trust. Okay. Just trust me on this one. Trust See, this is the good attitude face. Because the filet was that good. Okay. <laughs> I'm sweating. The way that that scalp set everything up. Sweating. Okay. A little bit of rosemary and then we're right back up here. <laughs> I saw your face it's notes like. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I said no filter. Don't be a dickhead. <laughs> I said no filter. Don't be an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Don't insult my life's work. Okay. So. You guys ready? Yeah. Wherever you are, Lauren. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. This is your day. Hey, go ahead. All right, now watch. I'm going to show you guys how to do it. Yeah, let me get in there. Right in your face. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ooh. Okay, so mix. Ooh. Everybody can just follow. Follow along, follow along. Okay, now watch. Up in the bottom. Up. Mmm. I'm going to sit down. Thank you. So Jeremy's scared of balsamic oh. a little bit, but I think it's gonna be great. Balsamic? Yeah, there's balsamic on the seafood. Balsamic? Balsamic. He's like a mixologist over here. I'm just trying to get rid of the balsamic. Oh my god, Jeremy. Alright, let's do it. Hey, take a big bite from the bottom. Mmm. 
Oh my god. I yeah. think it'd be better without the balsamic. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say the aftertaste won me over. Mm. Mm. That's why there was not real balsamic in there. Mm. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah? Oh my god, the graham crackers are really good. Mm. Alright, right. Ooh, it's so fluffy. Oh, it ends quite nice. Mm. Will you get Marty one? Yes, yeah, chef. No, wow. it, it ends where it, it ends. Wow. Better than where I thought it would be. It's really good. Oh, I mean more too. Yeah, you got you got it. You got to mix it up. You're right. I told you. If you don't mix it up, it wouldn't be good. No, what happened? You need to get real balsamic. Ah! Yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, here we go. We're, Look at her. We're hiding the balsamic. She's a great oh God, That was really good. That's good. Okay, I'm stuck in the track. Balsamic. Perfect flavor. Is that good? I'm ready. Yeah. Can you do it? Get out of our table. Good man. Really Why are you here? Was that not an interview? <laughs> you know what, guys? <laughs> it's like it's like the it's like the oh, this is the best way to be like, you exactly. This sounds like savage. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. The crummies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah but it's they're not dry crummies. Because you mix it. Yeah, but yeah. No, it's like, I don't like, you know, I think you like, have a bite and be like, I need a drink. Yeah. I don't want that. Right yeah, now. That was but really no, good. I'll be drinking. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, Chef makes it back here. Yeah. Butter and it's just butter and it's very buttery. It's very buttery. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's good. She's happy. It looks adorable. <laughs> it's easy. You look adorable. Wow. Do they have other cheesecake flavors? We can just have a cheesecake display. I know. All different flavors. Oh my god, how cute. No, so good. Good. We'll hit that table up. <laughs> cheesecake flavor. Mm, like an Oreo. Yeah. There was a ton of flavors. Oh, there are? Mm. Of the, there are flavors. Of the ice box shots? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ice box shots. This venue is so stunning, oh my god. Also, that was so much fun, like that, that was such a fun experience. Um, we made a few changes, learned a lot, um, and I think, so originally we were leaning towards doing family style, also I'm being absolutely blasted by the sun. Let me step into the shade for a second. We were thinking about doing family style, leaning towards that, because I feel like having to make a choice between like one specific plate, I personally have never loved. As like a wedding guest, we were leaning towards doing family style but I think we actually have the option of doing something called a duet where for a non-vegetarian like the standard plate will come with both proteins a starch which we're gonna do garlic mashed potatoes and then the Brussels sprouts so a veg and I feel like that might be kind of the best of both worlds of like getting to eat more than one thing on top of there also being four appetizers plus the salad is plated the desserts and then the charcuterie that is going to be also at cocktail hour. So I think the food is going to be just incredible all around um, because everything that we just tried was 10 out of 10. I am so full. Like I'm going to have the most underwhelming dinner tonight, especially compared to how good all of this food was. The bacon wrapped scallops. Oh my God. And truly like, so I eat shellfish, but I don't typically eat any kind of like actual fish. And this was in full honesty, the best fish that I think I've ever had like yeah I, I I don't know I really think it was I really think that it was or so yeah we're gonna explore the possibility of doing the duet layout instead of the family style um, they also said that because family style obviously takes a little more time to go around and pass out all the dishes to all of the guests and like you know like it's more interaction so it takes more time if we want to focus on being able to have more time like dancing and doing um, just like more interactive stuff with like our guests that like time wise there's a lot of benefits to doing the duet style so that's something to think about as well too so I really think that we probably will lean and aim towards that but we'll see this venue is stunning also because we're in Malibu I thought that it was going to be so much cooler and breezier but it is still literally Satan's asshole here and it was so hot but it, it doesn't take away from how stunning it is because this is truly a beautiful venue oh my god like look how this little like stone cottage behind me I mean you can see the vineyards like this is like picture perfect it's crazy California to me still no matter how long I live here just does not feel real look at these look at this little look at are you kidding that's where you just have the tasting but it's so cute so this whole area here is just absolutely adorable and then we're overlooking all of Malibu here let me flip you around like this is the view from this deck or like this area here it's absolutely stunning the wine was amazing so pretty hello 
hello we are home now and i forgot to show you the dress that i got to wear today i feel like you only get to be in your bridal era for however long your engagement is like i feel like on average like a year to a year and a half i am thoroughly enjoying wearing cute little white dresses um this one is from lucy in the sky it's so cute i did have a little spill moment i'm not entirely sure what uh course this is right here, but this happened at some point during the tasting. And this back is so cute. It's got the little bow. So cute, so cute. Um, I am so excited. I've got a uh, little DIY bridal series coming up. And so that starts shooting tomorrow. I'm gonna do basically like seven days of bridal DIYs all consecutively. I obviously have been brainstorming so many bridal, bride-to-be, wedding planning DIYs, and I've been trying to find, just like figure out the best way to like make a mini series out of it without it being like so ongoing, but obviously like going to continue doing more, but like, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm so excited for it to be just like seven days in a row of content. So I've got things like DIY veil, um, some accessory shoes, a way to preserve your bouquet. Um, and then the finale is going to be a giant floral arch. So really putting myself to the test here, really putting the DIY skills to use. Um, but overall, I'm so excited. So that starts shooting tomorrow and I'm hoping to start posting it the week of my birthday. So I think my birthday's on a Friday. So I don't know what that ends up being, maybe like August 7th or so if I started posting on the Monday. So anyways, that is coming super soon and I'm so excited to start diving into the DIYs. I've got a um, peer space booked on Friday to do a, another little bridal-esque shoot. Um, I ordered a For Love and Lemons little bridal slip, um, but I want to take some photos just for like to promo this, uh, this series. So that'll be on Friday. So bridal things happening. I mean, you only get to be engaged hopefully once in your life. <laughs> And I feel like I just want to live it to its fullest. We also, speaking of all the bridal things, got our save the dates in the mail from The Knot. I'm so excited. I'm going to cover the actual date, but here is the invite. We got it with gold foil in the March font. 6th. March 6th? March 6th is the day. March 6th is the day. Yep. March 6th is not See the day. There. You're He's all invited. Screaming random days. Please do not show up to Hummingbird Nest Ranch on March, March 6th, 6th because I don't know whose wedding it will be, and there's a very, very high chance that you will get kicked out and escorted off the property because it will not be our wedding. <laughs> Anyways, here's the save the day. It is so cute. I was going back and forth on whether I wanted to do uh, color save the dates or black and white and just something like really classy, but I love the gold and there was only gold options when you did color and I feel really good about our choice. So that's what the front looks like. And then the back just has our little wedding website and some of the roses from the proposal. Anyways, I am going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the wedding food tasting. Um, we've got cake tasting coming up, I'm sure, in the next few months or so. And what else is happening? We're about to dive into the actual design process of choosing color schemes and like tables, chairs, and table settings, and glassware, etc. All of that fun stuff. So lots more wedding planning to come, but I hope you guys enjoyed today. I'm so excited. Like I know that the wedding is still however many months away, but I just know that it's going to come so fast and being able to vlog all this process is not only so fun, but I'm really excited to be able to look back on it and relive a lot of these memories, like trying that mac and cheese, which was high key, probably the best mac and cheese I think I've ever had. It was so good. And I'm so excited about learning about this duet option. I've never been to a wedding where that's been something that you could potentially do slash offer. And I think it's gonna be such a better solution for us. Um, and I think because you're actually making less food and you know exactly how much food you generally need to make, I think it ends up being a more cost efficient approach as well too, which is a win. So I think, um, I think that's what we're gonna move forward with. So we made a few tiny changes and just like moved a few things around like the mashed potatoes and the mac and cheese. But for the most part, we made our decisions and are moving forward with everything. And that's another checklist item checked off of the wedding planning to-do list. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm so excited to continue this process and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.